Thank you for downloading the Autodesk Inventor Simplification Tool. In this video we're going to talk about how we can use it to remove intellectual property from models that need to be shared downstream. So in this particular example we have a hoist and the front end of the hoist has a lot of gears and a lot of detail and that front housing we want to be able to to share that that particular housing with full level of detail on the outside but remove all the intellectual property on the inside. And then we'll take a look at how we can do that for the entire assembly if we wanted to do that for uh, share the entire assembly. So we'll first start off by taking a look at just that front assembly and we're going to go into the include components. You'll notice that we can filter out by parts and we're going to choose just the outer housing and get rid of everything else. So now that all the gears and everything are turned off uh, we don't necessarily want to create bounding boxes or envelopes around these components. We want to keep the exterior full level of detail. So we're just going to save this off or export it as a, a part file. And just to be able to see the interior, we can do a section through here. You can see there's a lot of detail. If we're sharing this with somebody, we may want to reduce or remove all that intellectual property. So it may not be to lighten it up so much, but more to, to, to remove all the intellectual property for downstream consumption. So we're going to cap holes, and we could do this automatically and have it just detect holes of certain sizes, but we can also come in and choose particular faces that we can uh, use to cap holes and then fill in everything else. So let's do that section one more time, and you'll notice that it's completely filled in. So I didn't have to do anything more than that. So if I wanted to share this subassembly with somebody, I could uh, just select a couple of, of faces to cap the holes, simplify it, remove all the intellectual property, and then send it out. Well, coming back to the overall assembly, we may want to share something like this and uh, re remove certain parts of the intellectual property or simplify some of the geometry. So to do that, we're first going to choose the things that we want to keep, and then we'll be able to see the things that we're going to get rid of before we actually do that. So you'll notice we have in our include components, we can come around and choose the components that we're interested in keeping. We can change the selection priority to part level and grab all the things that we're interested in and then we can toggle back and forth to see things that are excluded that, are, that will go away and things that are included and I can select, I can highlight and, and pick things that, that will toggle them from excluded to included just by picking those so it's a very easy way to, to visually see what you're going to keep and what you're going to get rid of. So we'll see all the things that we're going to include, it looks good so let's move forward and start simplifying some of this geometry. A great way to simplify geometry even more is we have the ability to change, to create envelopes off of geometry. And I can use bounding boxes or cylinders. So I can select the cylinder, pick the, bod, the, the part that I want to swap out for a cylinder. We'll do it on both sides. You'll notice that it automatically sizes to that component. You can drag the, the size of that if you want to adjust it. In, in this case, we're going to grab a, a thick back plate there turn it into just a, a box and we'll do that with the front as well. You also have options to specify if there are occurrences that you can replace the occurrences as well. So in this case we'll grab those those lateral bars and then we want to be able to get in and start grabbing some of that other geometry. So you'll notice that we have some of the pulleys. We want to swap them out but we do want to keep that front full level of detail, that front cover. So we can swap one of the covers for a bounding box that back sheet metal case or enclosure for um, a bounding box and then we're going to come in and swap out some of the other geometry. Now getting in a little bit more uh, complexity, it may be that you have some geometry that you want to create, you want to use multiple envelopes. So something like these pulleys, you may want to be able to go in and put two cylinders instead of just one. So you can actually go in and we'll, we'll change over to the cylinder envelope go into a multiple um, multiple envelopes per part. You'll notice that as I select that, we'll start out with the smaller size. I can drag it to be about the right size that I want. We can apply that and then we're going to add a second one a little bit larger on that particular part. So it's a great way if you have a little bit more detail that uh, than more that you know more than just a single envelope that you can go in and do that. So you'll notice you can hit the plus symbol and then add another one to it. You could add a cylinder or a box if you wanted. In this case we want a cylinder so we'll just grab that front face, drag it back a little bit and you'll notice you can pick the front face and pick another face and it'll align to it. And then from here what you want to do, well after we create the second one, um, 
we can get out of this command and then right click on the original part and show just the envelope so you can turn off the original part. Uh, you will notice also that these are occurrences so what I do to one happens to all of those occurrences so I'm able to simplify all, all of the geometry there. So you'll notice much the same workflow we've got some gears here and we can go through and clean that up. You could use the in the next step you could use the um, cap hole tool to to remove some of those gears manually but this is a great way to just automatically in some of the geometry that's not really necessary here and then with that if we wanted to get rid of those internal components the the existing components we could pick them right click and turn uh, turn off the non envelope components but in this case we'll leave them on you'll notice that we can still go in and change that view rep if, if we realize that we've left some geometry around or we want to bring something back we can easily do that just go back and edit the the view rep one of the things we're trying to provide here is a very fluid workflow that allows you to jump back and forth easily and not have to worry about uh, doing something all at one all in one step so you can move forward a little bit turn certain things on and off start swapping out bounding boxes if you need to go back and turn other things on and off you can do that so it, it's it's fairly flexible in being able to do that so once we're done we want to save this out as a single part file you'll notice that we can combine the components give it a file name and then if we need to we can come in and do some additional capping of holes stripping out voids those types of things so you have additional capability with this so now we can see the saved model here uh, you'll notice that it's very very lightweight very simple and then from here if you want you can export this out as a DWG file a native or a non-native like a SAT or a step model or you could save it out as something like a, a ADSK file to be able to use in Revit or other applications so we've been able to take something fairly complex and quickly remove a lot of the complexity and then be able to share that downstream. So hopefully that helps. We'd love to hear feedback on ways that, that you'd like to use this and any feedback that uh, certain things you would like to, to see work a different way.